tell where I'm supposed to come in. The bass player's timing was so bad, he was depressed and threw himself behind a train. Oh! What are you doing? I'm trying to record the intro song for the tech tips. But got intermittent failure on the jack. How convenient is that? Let's go get it fixed. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, it's one of these jacks. Best part about having cheap stuff is you don't care so much about, you know, your screwdriver slipping and scratching it a little bit. Look at this mess. The reason why a guitar like this has a stereo jack is actually because the two lugs, this black wire comes from the battery. And when this is connected, it actually completes the circuit for the power, which powers the active electronics. And we're gonna replace this with one of these. It's a Switchcraft 12B stereo jack. And these are probably one of the best stereo jacks in the industry. So this thing, we'll put it in and we'll never have a problem again with the jack. That's what we're gonna replace it with this because it's better sponge oh. oh. get a nice mirror like finish that's what you want to see on a solder joint do is going to end with, oh hey, it actually worked! <laughs> Beauty, look at that. No play at all. That's the difference between having a cheap jack and a good one. Hey, it actually worked. Totally played the wrong thing, but that's alright. <laughs> Sounds good. Thanks for watching. If you have sales related questions, please visit our website at nextgenguitars.ca. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future videos. So, quite naturally, the very first video that we do of a repair, we use a jack that we have exactly none in stock of. That sucks.